you may have, may have read that recently I bid £350 million for the UK division of my old company. And uh, this came about because I got a phone call from a newspaper saying that they're going to bid for Zales in America. I said, if they do that, they'll dump the UK. So she said, if they dump the UK, would you be interested in buying it? So I thought, yeah, why not? It's the first I thought of it, but yes. So she printed the next day that I'm going to bid for the UK uh, division of Signet, uh, which is the renamed Ratner's Group. So um, a Sunday paper then phoned me up and said, uh, how are you going to pay for this? And I hadn't thought of that, but I didn't tell him that. I said, well, I'll borrow it, obviously. So he said, borrow it from where? So I said, well, wh where do you borrow money from? A bank. He said, what do you mean a bank? I said, a bank. Barclays Bank, Royal Bank of Scotland, that's a bank. So on the Sunday, the headlines of the business section was Ratner and the Royal Bank of Scotland bidding £350 million for the UK division of Signet. On the Monday, I got a phone call from the Royal Bank of Scotland. <laughs> um, they said, we, we know we've got Chinese walls, but nobody seems to know who's doing this deal with you. Look, I, said, I'm I said, I'm terribly sorry and embarrassed. And I tried to, they said, don't be sorry. We'd like to do the deal. So sometimes it can work out in your favour like that. <laughs> and we sent them an offer of 350 million fully financed, which at this moment they've turned it down. But they just announced yesterday that they're struggling. So I'm hoping that they might accept my offer, which will be a nice end to my book when it goes to paperback, that I got my own company back. Um, I'd be delighted about that. But anyway, I'm not holding my breath. But just finally, just to show that you can never predict the future, the the Sky phoned me up and said, we're doing a programme. I said, what, another one of the biggest idiots? They said, no, <laughs> we're doing a programme. We want you to help companies out of difficulty. I said, but according to you, I'm the biggest idiot in the world. They said, no, but you've you know, turned yourself around and we, there's lots of people who have got into difficulty. We'd like you to do it, like a Gordon Ramsay's kitchen things. So I said, uh, well, that sounds as boring as watching paint dry. They said, we've got a programme on that already. But I said... <laughs> I said I said, uh, well, I'll have a look at it, you know, because I don't really know anything about Sky, I just watch the football. So I turned on Sky and uh, I thought, this is rubbish, boring. Sorry, I don't know they're sponsoring this, but anyway. Um, <laughs> they are, actually. So uh, I said, I have got some dignity, you know. And then they said how much they're paying me and it would help my book. So I said, OK, I'll do it. I haven't got that much dignity. Um, and somebody said, what happens if you say something stupid and you crash your new business? I said, well, I'll just start all over again. Thanks a lot. <laughs>